We welcome you to a sold out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey for a much anticipated main event. 15. 15 rounds scheduled here in this much anticipated fight. And we are underway with round number one. Get off the roof. If the low stamina fighter does not get rid of a high stamina fighter in the early going of a fight, what can he possibly do to try and secure himself a win? Well, one thing he's gonna do is grab a lot on the inside and keep it slow. Really not allow the pace to get away from him. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. And he's holding. 90 seconds to go here in this round. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Nice work. Nice work. Many great superstar athletes are associated with one single city, but Tommy Hearns, I mean, Tommy Hearns is Detroit Motor City through and through, isn't he? Yeah, he is Detroit Motor City, and he runs you over like something with a motor in it. And the way he does it is from that really thin frame, usually from the outside, and he just explodes on you. And he just holds on there. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Tommy Hearns. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Final 10 seconds. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. In and out. In and out. Don't stand toe to toe. Here we go. Round two is underway. Nice solid left hand scored by Tommy Hearns. Jackson's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Good block there by Tommy Hearns. One, two, one, two. Keep it up. Stay away from the inside. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Scored well up top. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Hearns is at his best. When the combat are landing, he scored well there with that combo. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Protecting his head well with his guard. Let's see some more 
ahead, keep it check. Come on. Oh, you got this one. Keep working the body. He just missed that shot up top. Good way to protect the midsection. Jackson's right hand scores well. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of them. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Jackson. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bit. He's confident. It's all right. Keep moving. Keep moving. Circle him. Move. Move. Jump on him. Nice. Both these guys, obviously, hopeful that their cut men will be up to the task tonight. What does it take to be a great cut man? And you know, that's a great question. First of all, you better have the right coagulants, the right chemicals, the right medications in that corner. Avertine, adrenaline, and you have to have Vaseline where you can put it on it. But the most important thing, you have to be calm. You can't panic. And you have to put pressure on that cut, just the right amount of pressure. And then you put those medicines in it, and then you better have a fighter that can give you a round or two. He can move around and not get caught right away. Give the medicine a chance to work. Let's see some more Jackson's fatigue is starting to play a major factor in this fight now. He is having trouble landing any of these punches. Yeah, and it's not because his opponent all of a sudden is a great defensive whiz. You know, he's not Claude Waynes. He didn't all of a sudden become the invisible man. It's just that he's not landing because he's thrown him from too far away, as you said, very tired. Able to dismiss that body shot. Tommy Hearns is able to land a good, solid left hand. One, Tommy two. Hearns blocks that One, punch. Hearns' blocking ability is doing well for him there. Go, go, go. That's what I want to see. Keep working the body. Keep working the body. Go, get him. Still not moving enough. Come on, now move. Move. Turn the sender with the left hand. Ten clicks of the top. Right, just keep moving. Jackson's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. This guy, I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. Any more of these? Nice, and relaxed. Quick. Control, all right? Start of round four, I was trying to listen in to what was told to him after the third round. Teddy, he trails on your scorecard three rounds to zip. He's throwing a lot of punches, but he needs some better advice. Yeah, well, one of the things that he could be told, and I would tell him, is move after your last punch. Don't stand there and wait for the receipt. You're paying a price.
really frustrating his opponent now. Tommy Hearns is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches punch go because punch when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Halfway through round number four. Punch away. Now hugging on the inside. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. Nice. Jackson's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Seconds remaining in round. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he was doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Good block by Jackson. Burns is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. But sometimes the his beard. infrastructure isn't good enough. Just his physical makeup. Yeah, the, you don't have that ability to absorb like some fighters. Good job protecting himself. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Jackson's corner better explain to him clearly why he lost that last round. His accuracy was way off. Well, if you're looking to find change on the beach, you go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Pulls the 
the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Nothing there on the punch by Tommy Hearns. Hands up, hands up. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Jackson. Pulls the trigger fast. Keep moving, keep moving. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Tommy Hearns is making for a very frustrating round now for his opponent because he's moving so much. He's really utilizing that ring and showing that he's got the better footwork. Yeah, he's doing what the old times would say, Joe. He's giving angles, keeping his opponent off balance. His opponent is strong, but he needs to be set to punch. He's making sure he doesn't allow him to get set. Doesn't give him that kind of landscape. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you gotta figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit. Physically and mentally, the other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Keep working the jam. Good, good. Relax. Come on now, relax. Deep breathing. Now he ties up there. Hearns' defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Come on, now move, move. Nice work, nice work. Hearns has been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy is elusive like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. At the halfway point of round seven. Bunches and bunches, combination up top.
<laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Jackson. Not Coming towards the end of the seventh focusing. round, 10 seconds to go. Head movement, head movement. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. And round seven comes to an end. Well, he's up big through seven rounds, according to Teddy's scorecard. The answer for him has been a very simple formula. Just go out there and throw more punches. Yeah, and one other little thing that's not as simple, but it's very subtle, Joe. He's been moving his feet. You know, he's throwing punches, but he adjusts to where he has to he's adjust. He's been in good position. Oh, yeah, all the time. He's never out of position. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Jackson's been able to let loose. He's throwing punches. He's just not landing enough of them. Well, he's throwing them from a little too far away. He's not getting into that punching chamber. He's starting to launch him just a little too soon, and his opponent is warned. Halfway point of round number eight. Come on, man. Focus now. I need you to focus. Yeah, I like what I see. I love what I see, baby. You see him holding on. with that headshot. Let's see. Let the fist go. Let him go. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. And that's the end of round eight. Hearns is well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked Double when you hear the jam. score at Work the end the of the night. The Able to show you his blocking ability. after catching one by Jackson. Left hand. 
One, halfway two. through the ninth round. One, yeah! Back to the body, back to the body. Blocks the headshot. Hearns is making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's supposed to be actually the, the sweet spot. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. chance last 10 seconds of round nine <laughs> nothing's changing course here his corner knows it he knows it and his opponent knows it round after round it's much the same he's in control yeah, he has a great rhythm I mean everything's going right he's like a great singer up there on the stage hitting all the right notes just sailing along hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by Jackson good job staying away from the danger there Tommy Hearns is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Keep moving. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, man. Tommy Hearns is throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. And now they're opening up. Both right hands land. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Stay on the outside. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Jackson. <laughs> Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. Jackson's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. So here we are, Teddy, deep into this fight, round number 11, and he's been in complete control all night long. I mean, at this point, unless something changes, Hearns is on his way to victory. 
Yeah, you know, partly it's up to him. I mean, that he doesn't let off the gas pedal too much. He doesn't get careless, doesn't run into a tree, but he keeps it going, and it's up to his opponent. Is his opponent now just satisfied to go the distance, or is he going to take a risk to try to pull this out of the fire? A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Tommy Hearns. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. How about that exchange? Halfway through this 11th round. Defensive skill with the block by Tommy Hearns. Don't let him get it. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. <laughs> what a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Jackson. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. <laughs> Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Jackson's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. You have to keep another round will it go in another one-way direction it's been a one-sided fight so far tonight Hearns is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym and you love when you see it executed. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. <laughs> Halfway through this round. A headshot blocked. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Relax. Come on now. Relax. Deep breath. Back to the body. There's the headshot, but he parries it away.
Nice. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Finish with the hook. Ten seconds in this, the twelfth and final round. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Jackson. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. And he ties up on the inside. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. Come on, punch, 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 that's it. Good return fire that time. Keep working the body. Tommy Hearns has got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Jackson's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. You got this one! Well done by both men to fire off those right hands. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Back to the body. Tommy Hearns is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. down the final moments of this round. You know you slug it out with this guy, all right? So keep your range. Jab, jab, right, okay? He's almost done. If you had him that round, you're in control. Next round, let's keep busy, all right? You want this fight? You want this fight? Listen to me. Do you want this fight? You gotta stay. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Side, side, move your head, side. 
Burns is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Double up, you punch. You got this, man. You got this all day, all day. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus for me. Down defense, good block that time by Tommy Hearns. There you go, no, right now, more punches, baby, punches and punches. Let's Jackson go. showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Watch the hook, watch the hook, come on. Halfway through this round here. One, two, one, two. Oh, you gotta see that. Beat him to the punch. Locks away that headshot. that punch intended for the head. Head and body, head and body. Left and right, left and right. Come on, baby. Jackson's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Uppercut, uppercut is wide open. Last 10 baby. seconds. Just as he did in that round we just watched, he's been doing everything the right way tonight, and the judges have to appreciate that. Well, you would hope so. We appreciate it, and you would hope that those three judges, you would hope that they see it the right way. This, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, we got move it. out. Listen. One more time, the last round has arrived. There you go. Relax, come on now, relax. Deep breathe. He's tired, he's tired. Gets rid of that effort. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Jackson. Hey, you gotta get some of that too now. Come on, let's go. Nice exchange. Both right hands landed. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Nice block. Back to the body. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Oh, keep your distance. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Good step back, counter. 
one punch there. Beautiful. Last dance, last chance. Last minute of the last round. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Nice block by Jackson. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. That was a dominating performance tonight. Yeah, this is one you would think there's no drama in the reading of the scorecards. Let's hear those scorecards and send it up to the ring. A well-deserved win by Tommy Hearns. Unanimous decision, say the judges. You're going to have your eyes closed and see that one, or almost closed. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.